Kendall Hulesman, who had two bumps today, one in game one against GMC and one in game two against AVAC. First off, Kendall, congratulations on going 2-0 in the playoffs so far. Thank you. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> so I guess that's a good place to start. This has been a very high energy team for you guys. So just what is that energy like in the dugout and in the clubhouse especially? Um, it all started this morning. You know, we all had that energy and we wanted to go out there and whoop some butt. And I mean, from the from the locker room to the bus, I mean, the energy was just there and we just knew like today was the day. I think I can confirm some butt was whooped today. Yeah. Uh, beat up on TMC who uh, for the past couple of years for you guys has kind of been a boogeyman of sorts. Um, they play really tough over the past few years, but able to beat them in round one. How much of an energy boost and a lift do you think that was for the team? Oh, it was huge. It was huge. We knew that um, GMC was has given us some hard times and we knew that um, we just needed to come out today and have our bat strong and have our pitching and defense there. You know, it was just a huge confidence boost after we won that game. Two bombs for you today, as I stated before. Um, just what, what's that swing feeling right, right, like right now under these bright lights of the playoffs? Um, it's feeling good. You know, I just got to keep on trusting myself and trusting my team and, you know, be with it with everybody. Well, Kendall, looking forward to pulsing the momentum forward into Friday, undefeated so far. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Here with the Gremlin, Reagan Byron. Whoop, whoop. Today she had two bombs for herself. As well, pitched a good bit of uh, game two, then an inning and a third or so. First off, Reagan, congratulations on being undefeated so far. Thank you, Eric. So, for you guys, like I said, this is uh, going into Friday undefeated. Um, the last couple of years have kind of ended in disappointment for the team. Uh, but what is different about this team that... Uh, you didn't see out of last year. You know, we really uh, woke up on the bus this morning and we were playing all the music and so loud. We were jumping and um, the energy is really what is different this year. I really like it in the dugout. <laughs> Certainly for you guys, it's working. Everything in the lineup is really pumping. Uh, as a sophomore, you're able to see a lot of these uh, freshmen in the lineup really produce. So what do you think, what, how does that make you feel just as the upperclassmen have the veteran at this team? It makes me feel really good to know that everybody has my back. It's not just the freshmen, it's everybody working as a team and in unity, it feels really good. Going into tomorrow, you guys will roll in undefeated. What's going to be the, uh, the key to keep this momentum, keep this energy up? Um, I think we just need to wake up and do what we get, did uh, again this morning, have all the energy up in the dugout and the bat's hot. Softball is a game about repetition. Thank you for joining us, Ray. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I'm here with head coach Allie Hatterman after today's 2 and 0 start to the playoffs. First off, coach, do you believe in magic? Oh, yes, I do. We're starting off high here, going into Friday undefeated, as I said, and the first game was going to be a big game for you guys. Rolling in as the number four seed, going up against the number one seed in GMC. They have been creeping over your guys' shoulders for the past two years. Yeah, they have. But you know what? This tournament has four very good teams in it. It really didn't matter who we were playing, first game, second game. We just knew if we brought our best game, we were going to be all right. It certainly did. And uh, coming right off the bus, the team uh, had some sort of energy that has not, that, frankly, I haven't seen from them all year. So just what do you attribute that energy to and just how you like it? You know, we had a, a real loose practice a couple days ago. And at that point as a coach, I think that's when, when I think I saw the switch turn on for them, that they were starting to feel it. They're starting to taste it a little bit. Um, and we've been here before, and we've left here kind of early before. And I, I think there's some redemption for some of these girls. Definitely redemption is on the menu. Uh, so many individual performances, especially from the sophomores, Reagan Byron, Elise Harris, Kellen Hartwick, all turning great performances. And don't forget about Becca Graham with a big two RBI single, mm -hmm. uh, along with a lot of other individual performances throughout the lineup. Coach, they're red hot right now. They are. They believe in themselves. They believe in each other. And it's not just those players on the field. The dugout is just electric. They are keeping us in these ball games. So they're, this team's connected. They believe. We just got to finish it off. So we've certainly talked to the, uh, talk about the offense a good day. We need to talk to the pitching. Kayla Munoz was electric today. I mean, she was called upon in game two. She certainly did. Yeah, she did. You know, you, you have to wonder when you use a kid that much, you know, she's still going to have her stuff. But it looks like she was getting a little bit better and better each inning as it, it progressed. And she just gritted that one out, her and Kate there. Certainly the adrenaline and the momentum is in your full swing favor going into tomorrow. What do you expect out of this team? I just get a good night's rest, you know, and, and then come back and bring that energy tomorrow. You know, we've done all the work all year long. Now it's just about going out there and playing their, our best softball. Most certainly for you guys, Coach. Thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.